everybody, Lexinda Swirl here. Welcome back to my Paper and Other Obsessions channel. This is going to be not paper, but something different to try. I periodically check Walmart craft area for new kits, and they usually don't have much very exciting, but this, this caught my eye this time. It's a crystal growing kit, which maybe many of you have already done. I know I did something like this when I was a kid. The unicorn caught my eye. So we're gonna give this a try just for the fun of it. So I'm gonna unpack it here and then I'm gonna switch every, everything to a different camera angle because I don't think you'll be able to see very much from top down. So let's see what we get in our box. Whoops. All right, so we have some beautiful holographic cardstock that is kind of kind of in crappy condition now, but <laughs> We'll get to that later, I think. I think that's probably for the display at the end. So here's what we have. All of these goodies, plus this beautiful poster. I don't even know if I'll be able to show it to you. And I'm not sure. I'm not sure if any kid would really want this in their room or anything, but you know, it's kind of cool. It talks all about crystals and crystallography. We have what looks to be a very thorough set of instructions with some pictures. That's always helpful and a, a color wheel and everything. And then we have our ingredients. We have our unicorn. We have a paint palette, a brush, a little pokey tool. Oh, golly, some glitter. Cause you know, I don't have any of that on hand. And three different paints in the primary color. So you can mix and match, which I assume is why they included a color wheel. Oh, and this is our container that we're actually going to grow the crystals in. So I'm going to take everything out of here and I'm going to set up the side view camera and we're going to boil some water. I have my kettle here and I have a gallon of distilled water because the well water here is atrocious. Back in a sec. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is measure out three and a half cups of distilled water and pour it into my kettle and get it boiling. Okay, while that's boiling, I'm going to set up the two things we need next. We need our container. The instructions actually say to put the alum, the solute, that's going to create the solution that makes our crystals straight into the pot that you boil the water in. I am not gonna ruin my tea kettle doing that. So I'm gonna put the alum in the container where the unicorn is going to end up sitting, and I'm gonna pour the boiling water on top of that and hope that that's enough, and then we'll stir it up and, and let it sit. It cools down to room temperature at that point. Okay, here is our bag of alum powder. I need to pour the entire thing into here and then add the three and a half cups when it's boiled. Just to break up the chunks, I'm going to go ahead and do that quickly if I can. All right, now we need to stir this up till everything is dissolved. I am going to put this on a pan because I think that'll make it easier for you and me both to see what's going on. <laughs> I may put some black paper back here too. When the crystals are actually growing on the unicorn, we'll do a time-lapse thing. But for right now, it's just gonna cool off and I will bring you back in two hours. And we're back. Okay, it is time to put our unicorn into the solution so the crystals can start growing. Here we go. Here's our pretty little unicorn. Put him in here like this, very carefully. All right, it says that the crystals will start growing in two hours. So I'm gonna zoom us in and I'm gonna start time-lapsing this and I'm gonna come back in like three hours and see what happens. I'm now going to pull it out and set it on a paper towel and let it thoroughly dry for 30 minutes and then we'll come back and we'll do a little paint job on it and see if we can make it look like a unicorn. Whatever that means. <laughs> the very tip of the horn was not underneath the liquid, so it doesn't, it's bald. <laughs> I don't think that really matters. They specifically say not to add more liquid if you don't have enough to cover the whole thing, so I didn't. I didn't want to ruin the rest of it. So we have a poor little bald horned unicorn here. I'm going to take you in for a real close up and see if we can see some crystals. They're definitely there. It definitely is crystalline. 
All right, I'm gonna let him dry and I'll bring you back and we'll add some paint. Okay, the whole thing is dry now. It's time for us to get some color onto our unicorn. These are our three colorants. I don't really know what they are. They are translucent in the bottle and they all they say is they're coloring. Uh, it does not have a scent at all, so I'm guessing it's not alcohol ink. Probably a watered down form of food coloring maybe. But this is plasma pink, universe yellow, and blast off blue. So those are our colors, and of course they've provided a color wheel so we can mix. And I am going to mix up some purple and like some a teal of sorts. So let's put our three main colors here, and then we'll do a little mixing. All right, now the directions say, after your unicorn is dry, fill your paint tray with drops of color, dip your paintbrush into the color and gently brush against the crystals to bring your unicorn's magic to life. not exactly even but you know what it's fine now it is a metallic silver paint I don't know if you can see that and we'll sprinkle on some glitter well in he purdy recap we had this kit. I did find it at Walmart. It was reasonably priced. I'll put the price here and a link down in the description area. This was a lot of fun and it worked. We did get something that looks very similar to the pictures they show. So I'm very pleased that we did. Everything in here is reusable. You can buy alum just about anywhere. And the only thing you would need to find would be uh, the starter piece to replace the unicorn that they they offer here in the package. I'm guessing you can buy those online as well because I'm I'm pretty sure other people want to try their kits again with different shapes. There's lots of colorant left. Um, you would have to provide your own uh, sparkly glitter for the horn part, but I'm pretty sure everybody who watches my channel probably has some glitter. <laughs> my only con, the only downside I see to this entire thing is this piece of plastic that holds everything and fits inside the box. I poured over this with a magnifying glass and I read all the literature three times. Nowhere in here does this indicate that this is recyclable. So this is a huge con for me. Plastic that's going to end up in a landfill and, and never disintegrate is just, it's just really sad. This probably could have been done with cardboard somehow or a recyclable plastic. That's a con, but everything else, definitely a, a thumbs up for me. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Now let's go see our unicorn out in the sunlight.